NIH would not have given $10 million to start a track trial if there was enough data to prove what it is supposed to prove. And I'm going to, and I'm going to just prove that again. This is my disclosure. Um, and the other disclosure is actually we have a very aggressive Venus interventional program and my interventional colleague is sitting right here. And the debate is about mainstream versus uh, not mainstream. So would every patient with a massive DVT get this or not is what I look at it. Not whether I treat with rat poison or, you know, lead saliva or whatever it is, you know, unless, as long as it's medical grade, I would use it. And if, if it's FDA approved, I would use it, Chris. Um, so, uh, so here, the, the, I'll show you the hard data uh, about slowing down on these patients and picking patients uh, appropriately. Um, so the treatment, uh, treatment strategies uh, for DVT is prevention of thrombus progression, pulmonary embolism, and long-term goal is post-thrombotic syndrome uh, uh, prevention. So I see post-traumatic syndrome every single day in my clinic in one shape or the form or the other, whether it's acute, chronic, or in the wound center that I treat my patients. 70% of my uh, practice is venous disease, so I see a lot of this. So post-traumatic syndrome actually varies hugely. It could be simple swelling. It could be ulcers impairing uh, work, uh, work uh, uh, and uh, ability to hold a steady job. Here is one example of how uh, um, you know a leg would look like and uh, uh, how bad it could be, how painful it could be. And here are two other patients. You know, the first one uh, wanted uh, had a cholecystectomy related, uh, you know, cholecystitis related CT scan and uh, found some abnormality. And here is this leg lady who came in with mild erythema on the bilateral lower extremities, both had total IVC occlusions just like uh, uh, Chris showed. So we have so much to learn about venous disease that it's not just the clot, it's the whole of the venous disease, it's a whole patient. And yes, I'd like to treat my patients like my family members. So um, there you go. So you, would you, I can't fix this. This is an occluded IVC filter. I can't fix this. I can't call Neelish or Krishna or anybody else to fix this person because he has no problems. He's doing well on his anticoagulation and it's fine. And this lady, can any one of you fix this legs? Absolutely not. It's ridiculous to think about uh, uh, being able to fix that leg. That's lipedema. Um, along with IVC occlusion. So, incidence of PTS, the whole data is so vague and so, you know, sort of almost disturbing to me is the incidence, you know, people pick the incidence of 60% or 20%. When you look at the post-traumatic syndrome incidence,